Hey guys, so today we're going to be installing a new, well new to me, shifter in a Stang. So this thing's got the original factory shifter and it's, it does all right, but it feels like it's kind of coming apart. I've already had to fix it one time where I would get a, I called it a phantom second gear, where it would go all the way into gear, but it would still be in neutral. I got this new, well new to me, B&M shifter for 60 bucks off of eBay. And I can't really find these shifters new anymore, but from what I have found, the original price on these were about $250. And if price is indicative of quality, then I think we should be in good shape. So I'm going to start off by getting a measurement of where we're at in terms of throw. So this is in first gear, second gear, about a four and a half inch throw. All right, so the first thing you're going to do is get off your shifter ball. Or shifter knob. Now reach in here and pull up to remove the trim bezel. And now we're going to disconnect the cigarette lighter and also the dummy plug for I guess what would have been traction control. All right, so the next step is going to be removing the two 10 millimeter bolts to holds the stock shift handle on. Next, we got four eight millimeter bolts that hold this boot to the transmission tunnel. Now we slide the boot out with the metal retainer, bezel, whatever you want to call that. It is a little worse for the wear. Now this part might be for y'all that don't believe this car was originally an automatic. This right here is the cable that keeps the key in the ignition if you don't have it in park. Also, Right here, I had to cut the transmission tunnel just a little bit to clearance the shifter, which it kind of come across like that when it was just the automatic shifter in here. Still wondering if I should do a walkthrough video about the process of swapping a manual transmission in this car, which it would also apply to the GT. Now there are four 13 millimeters holding the shifter to the transmission. Go ahead and remove those. And this shifter is going to come out really easy because I have a quart gasket on it because I didn't want to screw with silicone. Now, this little cup stays in the transmission. Sometimes it comes out on the end of the shifter. So I'm going to go ahead and clean off the old quart gasket, which surprisingly is sealed pretty well. All right, so I ran into another problem with the fact that this car was a automatic to start with. On the manual cars, this hole is more of a square. I had to cut right here. To make the shifter fit and I did put some paint on there to prevent it from rusting all right so the next step if you're using silicones you're going to want to run a thin bead of silicone around this surface right here and if you're using a gasket like I am I'm going to go ahead and put the gasket on all right now this ball needs to go inside where the cup is all right with those two bolts started I'm going to go ahead and put in the only one locating tab or whatever you call this because I got the shifter used go ahead and put that in there now to quote Chris Fix, I'm going to put a little bit of medium strength thread locker on the bolts. Now go ahead and torque down the bolts. Now I'm not exactly sure what the proper torque spec is for this, but I'm just going to wing it and go by what it feels right. Every shifter is different. A lot of them come with new hardware to go with them. This one would have, but since I got it used again... All right. Next, we're gonna set the shift stops. Go ahead and break loose the jam nut and put the shifter in the second gear. Make sure it goes in the second gear. Now you're gonna to wanna to thread the stop all the way up till it touches the shifter. 
then back it off about a half a turn. And now tighten down the jam nut. And now repeat on third gear. Alright, next install the shifter boot and clamp and now the trans tunnel boot. Be cautious of these clips because they can fall off. Now tighten down the bolts. Reconnect all the plugins. Check your wiring and reinstall the shifter puzzle. And lastly, reinstall your shifter knob. I take the little top of a zip tie, put it down in there, and it helps where you can tighten it until the shifter pattern is right where you want it. <clears throat> Perfect. Three and a half, three and a quarter. Pretty significant decrease. Alright, so it's been a couple days now and I'm just going to do a little driving and give you my impressions of the B&M Precision Short Throw. I'm going to go ahead and apologize if there's any wind noise. I'm riding with the windows open. For some reason, the passenger side window just decided it would not go up. Um, I think it came off the tracks or something. It always seems this kind of crap happens when you're trying to shoot a video or you're trying to show somebody something. But I guess that's the way it is sometimes.
All right, so I really like the shifter. It's, uh, it's a lot shorter than that stock shifter. It felt like you're rowing a boat or something, or felt like you're driving a tractor trailer. At least now it springs back into the center. Yeah, I like it. I mean, it's a short throw shifter. I don't know what else to say. It uh, really shortens the shifts. It's really precise. A little bit louder than a stock shifter, but that's to be expected. I just want to say I appreciate all the nice comments y'all been leaving, uh, asking me to keep uploading more videos. Um, this is an attempt at trying that. Thanks for watching.